The Fed minutes have come and gone, though, not without some interesting takeaways. Although we haven't seen much movement in markets since the late Thursday release, the message was perhaps more balanced than many a hawk were expecting, with the Fed indeed talking about the need to move forward with rate hikes, but at the same time offsetting this with its worry about downside risks to the economy from U.S. trade policy. The takeaway, a less hawkish minutes than expected, with the Fed also arguably playing into the U.S. administration's objective of wanting to see a softer U.S. dollar. Still, the muted reaction was perhaps somewhat understandable when considering the risk ahead of us as the market looks to see what comes of the latest updates on U.S. tariffs and the monthly jobs report out of the U.S., Another Friday risk will be news out of the UK relating to Brexit as the UK PM tries to juggle her way towards a productive outcome. The pound has been trying its best to work off last week's 2018 low on the back of upbeat and hawkish BOE comments along with a run of better than expected data, but we'll need to be worrying less about Brexit if it really wants to get going. The Canadian dollar will be a currency to watch on Friday as well, with the loonie not only needing to contend with U.S. protectionism and oil volatility, but also taking in a monthly employment report of its own, followed by Canada IV PMIs due shortly thereafter. The U.S. trade balance is also out on Friday. That's all for now.